Duck up, get your top hit. Clean and cool, we pull out with the mop sticks. I can let my demons lose, we ride don't get caught sick. Really, I believed in you, it turned out that you not shit. What is up, YouTube? Million Dollar Dream here, back in with yet another Million Dollar video. Today, we're gonna be, um, you know, just giving a little story time, man. It's been a while since I've given one of these, so I figured today is gonna be the perfect day because this bullshit happened this morning, bro. This Fucking morning, bro. Straight blew my shit, and I figure as well that you know the feelings and like you know not the feelings because there is no feelings. But I'm just saying as far as uh, the 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 um the inner, inner rage or behind this is it's fresh. I might as well just make a video while it's fresh out the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Because we about to be cooking this video. You feel me? Uh, you know I, I I respect all mothers out there, man. Shout out to the moms out there holding down their kids, whether if it's with a man on their side or whether it's by themselves. I respect the mothers. You see me? I I just I just don't like. You you know boundaries being crossed i figure you know people be selfish like i figure it's time to think for myself you know what i'm saying like i ain't gonna let no one's name be involved in here because you know as rightfully so because at the end of the day you know children are involved so therefore i'm not, I'm not gonna mention no names but if you don't gotta be made bro it's a principle the key word in this whole story time is gonna be principle principles that being said there's a girl once upon a time that I used to fornicate with back in the day. You know what I'm saying? We used to kind of, you know, like dip and dive and you know, saying we used to got yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. And you know, I, I, it was a, during a time period I was kind of getting over my first, you know, little thing that was like a serious type thing. Even though I didn't ever really have someone that I really even called a girlfriend, but I'm just saying, this is after my first situation that I came close to having a little lady. You know, y'all know this, the same girl that tried to call the cops on me, or did call the cops on me and told me and told them that I was beating the shit out of her, and I never did. Um, go check out that video. But anyways, you know, I don't hate women. But we ended up start talking for some time, and off no ill shit, we just stopped communicating for whatever reason. It just really wasn't no point. The girl ends up coming here every now and then. She ended up hitting me up. She ended up hitting me up because she just wants to fuck. You know, she wants to have some sex. She wants some dick. Okay, so I'm like, all right, man, like, you looking for some penis? Like, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give, I'll give you some. That's what, that's what you want. You want some dick? I'll give you some dick. I'm a little, I'm a little, hey, yo, a little busy right now. I'm a little filled up on the roster, but you know, I'll make some space for you. I got some time for you. So that's what I did. Okay. So you know, I'll, and but it got to the point that after like the second time of us doing it, it's like, bro, I felt like I was doing her a favor. I wasn't getting hard. Like I wasn't. It was. I wasn't really excited. Like it's to the point that like I know for guys usually sex to us feels like a chore. It feels like something that's so normal. Like we just don't have really any emotion behind it, unless if it's someone that we actually care about but this shit literally felt like a chore and i'm not saying because like well i am kind of saying the pussy wasn't good but i'm just saying bro like it just wasn't it is i just wasn't it is it just wasn't it just wasn't it just wasn't okay you know after the second time i was like you know what bro like i ain't i ain't trying to do this no more bro like I, I i i totally tuned out an idea of doing anything together so i ended up dropping her off to her house right later that night and when she got out the car she gave me a kiss on my lips and I, to me it was kind of weird because i was like what the fuck you know what i'm saying like i was like yeah, this is, why are you giving me a kiss goodbye you know what i'm saying this is, i thought we kind of already knew that it is kind of weird that's like that's a little you know what I'm saying? After she did that, she was like, oh, was that weird? And I was like, yeah, it was weird, but forget it, it's okay, right? And she was like, okay, got out of the car, dip, all right, cool. Went home, she said that she got home safe, okay, cool, let her know I got home safe, whatever, the time goes on. That being said, the day after, a couple of days later, after she kissed me randomly in the car, and when she was gonna leave, she then texts my phone and says, hey, I have a question to ask you. I'm like, what's going on? Shoot it to me. She says, do you have feelings for me? Or have you ever had feelings for me? And do you have them now? Or something to that extent. And in my head, I'm like, what the fuck? Why the fuck are you asking me? Why the hell are you asking me these questions? You already know what time it is. I don't want to be no boyfriend. Right, I ain't trying to be no boyfriend, bro. I ain't not, like, not respectfully, not for you. I built too much for myself. I'm building too much for myself. And I'm trying to do even better. I don't have, like, I'll be foolish to date a girl that has a kid. I'm just be honest. Respect to all the mothers out there, like I said in the beginning of the video, but I'm just saying. She was like, okay, cool, right? As I thought, it was all cool. A day later, some time later, she ended up texting me again and says, you know what, like, I've been doing some thinking and I only want to have sex if like, if it's for like a relationship and only really want to, really, she just wants to be tied down and I, I mean, I, I want to be tied down, but just like, not to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know anyone really that I'm like, okay, yeah, let me get tied down by you. I can't really think of one. So that's cool. I respect that. No problem. She was like, okay. A day later, she texts me, a day later, she texts me again. She's like, can I take that back? 
She wants to continue to fuck. And in my head, I'm thinking like, bro, like I don't, I don't want to have sex, bro. Like I don't, I don't want anything. To, I don't want anything to do with you. To be honest with you, like I don't want to have sex. Like the sex is is not good. At least to me, it's not good. I'm, it's just not. I'm just not feeling it. It's not enjoyable to me. This, the sex just wasn't good. It was never really that good. Like it was kind of good back in the day. It was okay. But like now, it's just like, bro, I feel like I'm doing you a favor. Like I feel like. I'm getting you out the way. Like, I don't really enjoy this. You know, it wasn't, so that's why I, I didn't, I don't hit her up for sex, I don't ask her, I don't hit her up what she do, what you doing at night or when you coming back. Like, I don't, I don't do shit like that because I'm not, I don't really wanna, I don't wanna, I, don't, I just don't wanna have sex with you. I just don't. That's when she texted me, like she said that she just basically just wants to continue to have sex. She's like, can I take that back? And she starts calling me Bessie and shit. And I'm just like, yeah, sure, that's cool, right? Whatever, right? I don't plan to have sex with you anyway, so whatever. Right, more time goes on. She asked me, hey, like, what are you doing on the 6th of August? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing on the 6th of August. And we might be able to hang out if you want, you know, whatever, right? Cool. I didn't get no message on August 6th. Great, awesome. I scheduled a date with a chick, right, that I was gonna go hang out with her. We were gonna go on a little date downtown DC. The baby moms end up hitting me. She ended up hitting me last night at one in the morning, 12.30 in the morning, basically telling me, hey, do you have an airbed pump. I told her, I don't think I do. I don't think so. I honestly don't think I do. And she was like, okay. 30 minutes later, she texts me again and says, hey, I have a huge favor to ask you. And in my head, I'm thinking like, what is this about to be? And what she says is this, mind you, I have my man cave in my basement. This is my workspace, okay? This is where I try to make magic happen. This is where I bust my ass off. This is where my peace is. Okay, this is my piece, my sanctuary. I have my lights, I have my cameras, my computers, my chargers, my speakers, my laptop, my hookah. Bro, like, this is this is my this is my spot. You know what I'm saying? I got I got my 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 my, uh, my white screen on the wall for like photography, videography shit. This is my shit. My lights. You know what I'm saying? This is my shit, bro. So she's like, yo, I was sleeping over my, uh, my me and my mom got into an argument. I went to my aunt's house, which is my old friend's house, because remember, they're cousins. And um, so she went to her aunt's house, and she was sleeping in the living room when she wanted to, but there's a guy that was sleeping there that she didn't know was gonna stay there, but he ended up staying there. And she was like, can I stay, can me and my daughter stay tonight at your crib? In my head, I'm thinking like, hell the fuck no, you cannot. <laughs> hell the fuck no, y'all cannot. Y'all cannot stay at my crib. What the fuck? Bro, like you don't get money for a damn hotel, but you know what? I thought about the dog. I thought about the kid, and I got I got a weak spot for children. And I ain't gonna oh. let no 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 mom out there with her daughter. Like I ain't gonna do that. And I ain't, I ain't that type of nigga. So I was like, all right, bro. Like sure, sure, right, cool. Um, not like that. But I let her come to the crib, right? And before she's even coming to the crib, she asked me, "Hey, can you pick me up?" I'm like, "No, I'm not picking you up. I'm not gonna leave my house, bro. It's not." I'm not doing that. Like I'm, I'm, I literally just got. I literally bust my ass for eight hours in the studio, took a nap. I ate a fat ass Philly cheesesteak with some fries. Caught the itis, knocked the fuck out. Woke up four hours later and got straight to grinding. Got straight to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was only in the studio for ten minutes before you text me. And then you want me to get up and and pick you up for what? Because she said that she didn't want to lose her parking spot. I told her no. I'm not leaving my house, I'm sorry. You can come, but I'm not leaving my house. Right, in my head, I think that's ridiculous. Bro. I'm not, no, I'm not your man. You're not my baby mom's, <laughs> and that's not my daughter. <laughs> so, like, that's not my kid, bro. Like, I'm I'm willing to open my crib to you, but you're not about to inconvenience me. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just not, I'm not doing that. Because I got a spot I don't want to lose. You know what I'm saying? As far as parking. She's like, okay, cool, no problem, right? So, as she's coming here, she said, hey, can you meet me and my daughter in, in, at 7-Eleven? I'm like, for what? She was like, so we can get milk? And I'm like, bro, I got milk in my house. What kind of milk you got? 2%. 2% milk? Yes. Okay, cool. What the fuck? Now, she gets close to the crib and she asks me, hey, can you meet me outside? Hell the fuck no, I'm not meeting you outside. Motherfucker, like, yo, the fucking back door, like, yo, I opened the back door for you. I'm downstairs in the studio. The back door is open, right? The, the gate is open for you. I don't ever open this shit, but I let the open for you, right? Come on, bro. Like, no, nigga. No, I'm not doing all that. Like, just walk straight in the back. So she comes in the back, right? With a dog sniffer out. Cool, all that bullshit. Cool, fine. Dog sniffs her out. Send the dog upstairs. Bro, 10 minutes to my fucking... Nigga, I'm editing and shit. She's like, hey. Takes out a fucking dirty diaper, nigga. Yeah. She took out a fucking dirty diaper. Asked me to throw that shit away. Where the fuck you get a dirty diaper from, bro? Like, what? 
Like, bro, how, why are you bringing that in my crib, bro? What? Why are you bringing that shit in my crib? You bought, bro, you bought a dirty diaper? A shitty diaper into my house? Hey, um, keep those diaper away from me. Is this a dirty diaper? Yeah. Uh, huh? Bro, I, I don't want to bring my dog shit in this crib. Why the fuck would you bring your daughter's dirty diaper in my house? Okay, bro. Can I throw it away? No, the fuck you can't. I, I, I got it. Threw the shit away. I'm thinking like, the fuck? So now, come back downstairs, right? Back to work. Mind you, this is my piece. This is my zone. This is my piece. This is my workspace. Nigga, 10 minutes, five, five minutes into, into my shit. Can you turn the lights off? The only thing lighting up this fucking room right now are these fucking LED lights. Why do you want them to be turned off? She can't sit. Oh my fuck. Bro, these lights haven't been turned off in over a year since I've gotten them. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> Turn the lights off, cool. At least I still got my hookah. Nigga, two minutes late, bro, two minutes later. Can you not smoke that around her? What? Man, what? What are you saying, bro? Come on, my nigga. I, I let you into my safe zone, bro. I let you into my peace. And you, you trying to regulate, you stepping on toes, bro. You stepping on toes. You 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 brushing shoulders. I don't I don't you what are you doing, bro? This is my spot. I pay rent here, bro. You're not my girl, bro. You're not my girl. Respectfully, you're not my chick. You're not my baby moms. That is not my daughter, bro. Like, I you you're you're lucky I gave you my crib. In my head, I'm thinking like, why don't you have money for a hotel? Like, you have a whole kid, bro. And if you don't have the money, why isn't your baby dad sending you money for a hotel, bro? Why is that? Why can't you ask your aunt for $60 to stay out of the hotel? Why, like, okay, I, I don't even offer, yo, you wanna sleep in the back? Cause after that, I went, up, I went upstairs, I'm like, wait, I can't let this girl run, run me out of my spot. What the fuck? She does not pay rent right here. So I'm not gonna call her her name cause you know, I still respect her at the end of the day, but I'm like, what the fuck? So I come back downstairs, I'm like, yo, you wanna stay in the back? She's like, no. No, she's like, oh, you have a back? I have a whole futon and podcast studio back there, right? There's a lot of, it, 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 it's a it's a storage room. So there's, there's a lot of storage like when you first walk in but in the corner in the back It's like literally a whole mini room black carpet on the ground a little futon that lays out right probably the same size as shit that she was sleeping on right here If not maybe a little bigger with places you can charge your phone into the couch nigga Then it's dark you won't be around hookah smoke you can't really hear shit from out from the outside like that, so you won't hear anything being played back like music or anything or audio. It's a win, 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 and you'll you'll be away from the dog. The only thing you gotta worry about, the only thing is, is that you're it's a bunch of storage stuff in front of you. That's literally the only thing. But you're there to go to sleep. You're not there to live in it. So that's why I'm thinking like, bro, like what the fuck? Like you should get what? Imagine, imagine you giving a home a homeless nigga a whole cheeseburger, and then once you get the homeless nigga a cheeseburger after he asks for some food. The nigga looks at you like, nigga, what the fuck? If you don't give me a large fry, a, a frappe, and a, and a fucking, and two cookies from sub from Subway with a bag of chips. Like a whole meal, nigga. This is not the Last Supper. This is not some biblical Jesus Christ shit. Like, what the fuck? You should be, nigga, you should be lucky for what to, nigga, be lucky with what you get. I didn't have to get you the cheeseburger, my nigga. It's the principle, bro. It's the principle. It's the principle that you don't bring a dirty fucking diaper in a nigga's crib. Actually, before we get that, you know. I, I didn't really want to have to do it. I didn't want to have to go back and forth to text messages. So then she ended up texting me because I'm not even done yet. She texted me in the morning. I told my mom, like, bro, what the fuck is this? She said, did your mom hear us? I'm sorry, I didn't want to get you in trouble. Thank you for letting us spend the night. I was like, no, I didn't get in trouble. Then she said, I didn't fully close the door. Either of them. I'm sorry. With the stick. So in my head, I'm thinking, I questioned, I didn't fully close the door. What, why the fuck? Nigga, I went downstairs, the door was fucking open. I wasn't, it wasn't wide open, but it was fucking open. It was not on the hinges, bro. It was open. The door, nigga, the door was open, my nigga. I'm literally showing y'all how it was when I came downstairs right now. That motherfucker was open. I'm like, bro, what? It doesn't make any noise when you close it. So she didn't even try to kind of either this even made any noise. She just didn't close the door. I then text her, bro, you doing too much, man. Way too much. How? Question mark. What I do? What? Man, what? Huh? Yo, yo, what? 
The fact that how you even have to question that shit is crazy. The blasphemy. Like the audacity, bro. Devious. Diabolical. Abominable. How? How? How do you not know how? That's what I gotta know. That's what I need to know, bro. What? Nah, bro. What I do, that's crazy. What, nigga, what did you not do, bro? What did you do? Too much, my nigga. That's what you did. Too much. I told her, you came over and tried to dictate my creative space. You bought a used diaper into my house. You didn't straighten up sleeping your, in your sleeping area after you left the door open. And I forgot to say, when I came downstairs, the spot that she was sleeping on was not straightened up. Covers all over the place wasn't folded. Like how I gave to her. Like, you're not even gonna make your bed, gang? Like, <laughs> you come in here and dictate my whole work spot, tell me, hey, don't smoke in here. Hey, turn the light off. Sleep in my spot, in the house I pay rent for. Get up and not clean shit. Just get the fuck, not even close the door behind you. And you have a, you, you're questioning why I'm questioning your behavior last night? What? Nah, bro. This needs to be addressed. This needs to be addressed. She said, I'm sorry. I said, completely. Now my studio lights don't turn on and I'm seeing the Bluetooth block is broken. The fact I had to explain this and this, I, the fact I had to explain this and that you're clueless is crazy. And she said, I'm sorry I wanted to leave fast because my daughter is loud sometimes. I didn't want to get you in trouble. I'm sorry in general, uh, it won't happen again. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't even care much about the cleaning up. Just the fact that how you did that after last night blew me. Cause not only did you disrupt my editing space, but you didn't clean up after it. And I'm more annoyed about last night. I had important things to do today that I was prepping for. The shit just wasn't cool at all. She said, all I did was ask you to not smoke hookah in front of my child. That is not all the fuck you did. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, women love doing that shit. They love mentioning the one thing out of, like, the ten things that, that caused you to, to have some kind of reaction. Didn't know you needed to be smoking hookah to be creative. I thought you were asking if I wanted to sleep in the, in the, other, in the other space for us to be more comfortable. Not because we were disturbing you. I made that very clear, nigga. You fucking asked me last night. You literally asked me last night, are we disrupting your space? Yes! I said yes! What the hell? I literally said yes! You are like, okay. We can move in, we can go to the room if you want to. I said, nah, it's cool, don't forget it. Like, no, nah, no, nah, it's cool, we can move. I was like, nah, forget it, it's cool. Don't worry about it. If you need anything, let me know. I let it know, I let it be known by, my, by, by the way I was speaking that I was frustrated, I was annoyed. It's not up for a debate, not for the discussion, it's not up for a conversation. Finally, we're on the same page. She said, K, I like the message. I have no intention of responding to this shit. Then she liked the message. I guess out of being petty, great, because I don't have any intentions on responding about this shit, but I don't care. Then, normal female shit. She texts me again. Again, bro, you're not, look, I'm not gonna, this is funny to me. This is funny to me. See, when bullshit like this happens to me, I end up making it a joke. It is being comedy and a funny story to tell in the future, right? Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm not gonna let some chick disrupt my workflow. I'm not gonna let some chick, especially a girl that I'm, I, bro, I don't like you like that. We're cool, right? I still, we're cool from a distance now. We're not boyfriend, girlfriend. We're not my baby moms. That's not my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, gang, it's like, therefore, you know, sister, like, partner, you know what I'm saying? Like, squad, like, kinfolk, we don't have a reason to be going back and forth. I don't have a reason to be going back and forth with you. <laughs> I don't. Like, if you don't know what you did wrong, that's, that's pretty scary. You don't know what you did? That's scary. She didn't text me again and said, so I just reread this. Number one, the diaper I asked you for, I asked you for a bag so I could take it with me when I left you offered to throw it away. Bro. First off, that's not what you said. You asked me, hey, can I throw this away? And I was looking at it like, is that a diaper? 
She was like, yeah. I was like, is it a dirty diaper? She was like, yeah. Guy throws it away. And I'm like, I got it. And then why, the reason why I said I got it, because I didn't want her to wake, to wake up my parents. So I said, I'll do it. But regardless of that, that's not the problem. The problem is the principle. Why the fuck would you bring a dirty diaper into another person's house? Why? There are trash bins outside, bro. I don't even bring my dog shit in this house. Why the fuck would you bring your kid shit into my house? It's the principle. Like, it's feces. Feces, bro. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? You stupid. What? Like, remember, the key word of this video, principle. Principle. Remember that. Number two, I didn't leave it open completely. I closed it. That's a lie. No, you did not. It was open. Not all the way to the point flies and birds can fly in here, but the door was open that any motherfucker could just push his foot just a little bit and then sneak right into my crib. He didn't even have to go like this. When I say it was open, he didn't have to go like this. Any motherfucker could have just put their foot, just press it just with, with their toe, and it would have opened. It was open. Like, bro, come on, bro. I closed it but didn't lock it behind me. That's a lie. Bro, you just lying, dog. What the fuck? Number three, your LED lights should turn on with the same control they were on. They were turned off by. Bluetooth block. I didn't even touch any any of the things in my daughter. It didn't either. She slept all night, and as soon as she opened her eyes, I was I was up already. I heard your mom talking upstairs. My daughter started to talk to me, so I left and got her things and left. And if something bothers you, say it then. Then, if, and if something bothers you, say it then. And there don't wait until the next day to say some shit. That's it. So this is the thing with this. The fact how you're talking back to me right now is kind of crazy. The fact that I'm not even talking back. I'm not. Who am I? But I'm saying the fact that how you're making this even an issue. How there's a, there is a back and forth is crazy. It's crazy because this man he he opened up his house to you, bro. And I'm not. And you you didn't break my shit. At least the at least I thought you did at first, but you didn't. You didn't break my lights. You didn't. So that wasn't on you. I'm not going to pin that on you. But what was on you, the principle that you would bring a dirty diaper into my crib, that's fucking disgusting. Why the fuck would you do that? You can just leave it in your car. Just leave it in your car. Why would you bring that into my house? Like, you literally drove here, bro. You drove here, gang. You drove here, squad. Why the fuck would you bring it into my crib? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you got an old car. Okay, you didn't, you say you didn't close, you say you closed the door, you did not close the door, bro, the door was open. You left the door open, bro, that any person can just take their foot and just, their toe and just kick it, just, just push it a little bit, and now they're in my crib. You didn't, you didn't close the door, bro. So, what are, what are we saying? The reason why, how I know you're lying, is because, think of it this way. You said at first, I didn't fully close the door. Now in the bottom you're saying you closed the door? I thought you didn't fully close the door. Cause that's what you did. Not fully close the door. Now we're saying at the bottom that I closed it, but didn't lock it behind me. That's not what the fuck you said before. You said I didn't fully close the door. There's, those are two differences. Obviously, you can't close it and lock it because you don't have a fucking key. Like bro, stop lying bro. Like. <laughs> You're capping, bro. You're straight capping. And and me and my head, I'm thinking like, look, if I had any kind of kid, because anything can happen, if I had a kid, bro, I'm gonna make sure I'm in a financial situation that like I would always provide a roof over their head. I will always have the money for a hotel or motel for at least a week. The fact that you can't even ask your mom, you can't even ask your aunt, you can't even ask your your cousins, you can't even ask your your baby dad. If if I could have fifty dollars for a hotel, to me, it's crazy. It's wild, bro. That's insane. And I had, to, I had to give my mom, like, yo, like, this, this, and this. And even she was like, yeah, you're not tripping. Like, that to me is wild, bro. Like, what the fuck? You don't, you don't have someone open their spot up to you. Let you stay with them. Put a roof over your head, right? They didn't have to do that. And when you come over here, you bring a dirty fucking shitty diaper into their crib. You try to dictate their workspace 
telling them, hey, you turn the light off, hey, can I smoke around my, my daughter? Bro, who the fuck are you? Bro, if it's, that much, if, it, if it's that big of a deal, go sleep in the studio room, but you didn't want to do that. Before you even got up, when you actually know, when you sat back down, you asked me, hey, am I, are, we, are, we, are we disrupting your workspace? I said, yes, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So then we could get up and not, don't worry about it. It's cool. If you need anything, just text me. I got my shit and went upstairs. I was pissed. You're not paying shit in this house, bro. I pay the rent here. Again, you're not my girl. You're not my baby. You're not my baby moms, and that's not my daughter. So for you to try to dictate how my workspace is in the in the expense of your daughter, I understand it's a kid, but this isn't your house, bro. Like you should be lucky I gave you a spot to stay in the first place, and you're lucky I'm not having you sleep on the floor. I'm having you sleep on a fucking mini bed with covers and pillows and ace and a fucking this shit. Like, I, I took it from my room and gave it to you. Like, what are we saying, bro? If that was a bad option, okay, you could sleep in a podcast studio. But you didn't want to do that. So I'm like, all right, bro. All right, bro. Like, I'm confused, bro. I'm confused. I'm bewildered. So that being said, y'all, that's pretty much what went down, bro. I don't have any intentions of replying to this. I'm not. I, I'm not, bro. I'm, I'm just not doing it. I'm, this is not happening. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because you're not my girlfriend. I don't have, like, why would I give this time? I'm not going back and forth with you. This is enough for a debate. You know what I'm saying? You're not my, you're not my girl. Like, even besides not being my girl, I don't have any feelings for you. You're not my baby mom. It's not my kid. So, therefore, we don't, I don't have any ties to you. So, I'm not going back and forth with, about this shit. You came over to my crib, you bought a fucking dirty diaper, regardless if you needed a trash bag throw it away, you bought it in my house. That's weird. That's nasty. You could leave it outside. You could toss it, chuck it away into the bushes, into the tree line. There's a whole fucking trash can right outside my house. That's for the community. Where everyone puts their dog shit in, their dog shit in, but you didn't put it in there, but you wanted to bring it in my house. You then try to dictate, hey, turn off the lights. Hey, stop smoking around my daughter. <laughs> okay, bro. Go upstairs. Don't pay a damn thing in this bitch. You then leave. And leave my back door open. And not even clean up after yourself. Not even make the covers. Nothing. Just got up, got your shit, and left. And you're questioning why I'm, fr I'm checking you? That's crazy, bro. The fact how you're you're even questioning why I'm questioning your behavior is wild as fuck. That being said, y'all, peace up and party like always, man. This is Watch Me Watch You from Brother New Sign Now. We get another million dollar video. More videos on Moving the way. Moving on, that's easy to quit acting like I'm not rich. Fuck these IG hoes, I'd rather have a block, bitch. She been playing on my heartstrings like a guitar pick. I know I broke a heart.